Hello students, welcome to Year 11 Chemistry and the Introduction to Quantitative Chemistry module. This is video number 15 and probably if you've, if you've uh, worked your way through the last two videos, the one that you really wanted to see, which is um, a starting the process of actually doing some calculations of concentrations. So let's look at some things. So two critical formulas that are part of our calculations of concentrations and the first of those is this one uh, which I've alluded to on a previous slide concentration is number of moles divided by volume or number of moles is equal to concentration multiplied by volume the other one that's important is one that we've used previously in this topic which is the number of moles is equal to mass over molar mass now, for many of the examples that you look at in your calculations of concentrations, these are the two and probably the only two equations you will need. Just to explain each of these variables, just to, I guess, confirm them for you, N is the number of moles, and you'll notice that that particular quantity appears in both of our uh, equations. M is the mass, C is the concentration, um, we have molar mass, and we have volume and notice too we have concentration is a ratio of number of moles divided by the volume you remember right at the beginning when we started this topic we had a lot of um, I, I suggested to you back then that there would be a lot of formulae that involved a quantity a quantity and a ratio and here's another one of them but how do they work well, in practice, this is the sort of stuff that we're more likely to get. So let's work through one question here, and then I'm sure there'll be plenty more opportunities to practice in class. So we have 20 grams of sodium hydroxide, which we dissolve in a small quantity of distilled water. If we transfer that um, distilled water to a 500 ml volumetric flask and add additional distilled water, we can make up a solution of sodium hydroxide that will have a final volume of 500 mils. But what will be the concentration of the solution? Well, we know concentration is equal to number of moles over volume. And of course, one of the things that it doesn't actually say in this question is which units to use. So technically you could say, well, there are 20 grams of our sodium hydroxide in 500 mils. That's equivalent to 20 grams in 0.5 litres, which would be the same as 40 grams in one litre or 40 grams per litre. So there's, there's one type of unit that we can look at in terms of calculating a concentration. But if we use the most common units that we use in the laboratory, which is moles per litre, then this is the formula that we need to use. The problem with this formula is while we have the volume, which is 0.5, litres or 500 mils, what we don't have is the number of moles. To work out the number of moles, we need that other formula, mass divided by molar mass. Now in this case, the mass is 20, that's the value that's up here, but the molar mass we have to look up on the periodic table and when we do that we notice that sodium is I'm going to round that up to 23 I know it's 22.99 but let's call it 23 oxygen is 16 and again I'm going to round hydrogen to 1 even though I know it's 1.008 because lo and behold I have a molar mass of 40 that makes this nice and easy calculation mass of 20 divided by a molar mass of 40 is a number of moles of 0.5 now you can see that we can now do the calculation. Concentration is number of moles, which is 0.5 moles, divided by 0.5, which is a one molar solution or one mole per litre. So you can see there's two different ways of doing some calculations here based on the different types of um, uh, units that we want to use for concentration and it's important that you practice a number of these work through the steps carefully slowly one step at a time make sure that you check your answers and always include your units thanks for watching